Wood Carving Arts. Hey everyone, I'm here with Kaya's master carver, Mr. Patuk. Parala Rivsi, welcome to my wood shop. What can I do for you? Can you show us how to carve some projects out of wood? I would be happy to teach you. Koyana, thank you. I've sketched out some ideas in my notebook. Tap the arrows to see the other projects. Tap the notebook to start a project. A spoon. Fine. Come, let's get started. I'll show you how to carve a traditional spoon. Draw an outline of your project on the wood with a grease pencil. What's a grease pencil? A grease pencil is a special kind of pencil made of wax for drawing on wood. Tap the arrow when you're ready for the next step. We did it! You drew the outline so neatly. It's time to choose the first carving tool for this project. You'll need a gutter adze. What could you use to learn about the tools in my wood shop? I found a website about carving tools. We can use it to pick the right one. An adze is a carving tool used to cut a rough shape out of wood. Lip adze, gutter adze, straight adze. When I'm reading and I don't know what a word means, I look for clues in the words and pictures. The picture shows different adzes. Which tool looks like an adze? Yee, yes, that's the gutter adze. Use the gutter adze to create the basic shape of the spoon. Tap to chop off a chunk of wood. Did you know there's a baby adze? Why is it called a baby adze? It makes much smaller cuts. The bigger the tool, the more wood you'll remove at once. Tap the arrow if you want me to finish this step. Tap the arrow when you're ready for the next step. How does this look? Yoy! Wow, you worked hard! Time to pick your next tool. You'll need a curved gouge. Let's read about it on the website. Use a curved gouge to scoop out the interior of a spoon or bowl. Choose a different tool for carving the outside. Interior must mean inside. Which tool could scoop out the interior of the wood? Eee, yes, that's the curved gouge. Use the curved gouge to carve out the inside of the spoon. What kind of wood is this? The wood we're using comes from an alder tree. It doesn't grow very big, so it's perfect for smaller projects. Dovra, all done! Nice, you carved out the wood so well. Time to pick your next tool. You'll need a hook knife. Let's read about it on the website. The hook knife's shape is great for carving a concave shape, like the inside of a bowl or spoon. Concave must mean the inside part of a spoon or bowl. Which tool could carve out the concave part? Hmm, this is the wrong tool. A scraper smooths out any rough spots on the wood. Let's... Eee, yes, that's the hook knife. Use the hook knife to finish the inside of the spoon. Drag the tool across the wood to shave off the rough spots. Why do we need to wear gloves while we're carving? We wear special cut-resistant gloves to protect ourselves when working with sharp knives. Mr. Batuk. Yoy! Wow, you worked hard! Time to pick your next tool. You'll need a scraper. Let's read about it on the website. 
Many carvers choose a flat metal scraper to smooth wood because it's not disposable. They can use it again and again. Disposable must mean it's made to be thrown away. Which tool is not disposable? Hmm, this is the wrong tool. Sandpaper smooths out wood, but you have to throw it out after you use it. Let's read the website again to find the right tool. Many carvers choose a flat metal scraper to smooth wood because it's not disposable. They can use it again and again. Disposable must mean it's made to be thrown away. Which tool is not disposable? Eee, yes, that's the scraper. Use the scraper to smooth out your spoon. Drag the tool across the wood. Do you always use a scraper on your carving project? Sometimes I don't, and keep the rough texture of the wood to give it a different look. We did it! Nice! You smoothed out the wood so well. Add walnut oil to stain and seal your spoon. Drag the brush across the wood. Does the oil make it taste like walnuts? <laughs> now me, no. The oil helps bring out the beautiful grain or patterns in the wood and makes it safe for us to eat with. How does this look? The oil finish looks amazing. We made a spoon. You can use a spoon like this to serve food to your friends and family. They can also be used at special ceremonies where our people gather. Masit Cho. Thank you for your help. Tap the arrow when you're ready to start a new carving. Kika, let's make another project. A handle for an ulu knife. A whistle. A bowl. Make your own relief carving. A spoon. A handle for an ulu knife. Great choice! I'll show you how to carve a handle for a traditional knife called an ulu. Draw an outline of your project on the wood with a grease pencil. We use a grease pencil because it draws well on green wood. Why is it called green wood? It doesn't look green. Green wood means the log is freshly cut and still wet. That makes it hard to draw on. Dabra! All done! This looks great! It's time to choose the first carving tool for this project. You'll need a straight gouge. Let's read about it on the website. Use the wide tip of the straight gouge to quickly remove excess or extra wood. Excess must mean extra. Which tool could remove excess wood? Yee, yes, that's the straight gouge. Use the straight gouge to create the basic shape of the handle. What do you do with all these wood scraps? Instead of throwing them away, I like to put them in my garden. Tap the arrow if you want me to finish this step. when you're ready for the next step. We're finished, Mr. Batuk. Yoy! Wow, you worked hard! Time to pick your next tool. You'll need a scraper. We've used that tool before. Let's go find it. Do you remember which tool is the scraper? Tap me if you need help reading the website. Hmm. This is the wrong tool. Sandpaper smooths out wood, but you have to throw it out after you use it. Let's read the website again to find the right tool. Many carvers choose a flat metal scraper to smooth wood because it's not disposable. They can use it again and again. Disposable must mean it's made to be thrown away. Which tool is not disposable? Eee, yes, that's the scraper. 
use the scraper to smooth out the handle of your ulu knife. We did it! This looks great! Add walnut oil to stain and seal your handle. How does this look? This looks great! It's time to put the Yulu knife together. I've made two holes in the wood for you. We wear special cut-resistant gloves to protect ourselves when working with sharp knives. Dovra! All done! Nice! Your project looks fantastic! You made a beautiful handle for an Ulu knife. Ulu knives were traditionally used by Anupiat, Yupik, and Aleut women. Wow! That's awesome! Masit Cho. Thank you for your help. Tap the arrow when you're ready to start a new carving.